Python here and today I decided to compare the new Google Pixel phone with the latest iPhone. Well, it happened to Apple.com recently. You know that the latest iPhone 15 won't be so new anymore because in the 9th of September, Apple has announced their event and this is when we're gonna meet the new iPhones, the new Apple Watch, but will there be another product? added up to this lineup that always go together we're about to find out but the focus is on the newest google pixel phone so what are the specifications what it has more than the iphone and is it worth it to switch to an android from an iphone we're about to find this out today the first thing that i will compare is the color palette even though they look slightly similar there are also so differences so this is the well-known color part of the latest iphone 15 we have blue white black and natural titanium well when it comes to the google pixel we have varieties here they are we have porcelain we have rose quartz i never thought that i would see pink in a pro motor phone no matter what the brand it is but google is making this a possibility we also have obsidian and we have hazel so yes someone will say they are the same colors just with different names except for the pink one the rose quartz but this is what makes it different after all colors are all the same like you can have different variations when it comes to brands so of course yes there will be similarities but now let's go into the actual text specifications and see where the differences are Let's start with the display because I feel like this is the first thing that you notice as a different when you're holding two phones. So we started with Google Pixel. We are talking about the Google Pixel XL. So it has 6.8 inches, super actual display, 20 to 9 aspect ratio, 1,344 to 2,992 LDBO OLED at 486 ppi. Smooth display. We have coloring gorilla glass victors two color glass up to 2000 nits agr and up to 3000 nits peak brightness which is great for outdoors because who doesn't love to have a brighter screen when you're going outside on the sun but what does the iphone has so we have super retina hdr display 6.7 inches diagonal all screen all display we have the dynamic color Promotion technology with adaptive refresh rates up to 120 hertz, always on display, HDR display, 2796 by 1290 pixel resolution at 460 ppi, 1000 nits max brightness, which is the typical, 1600 nits peak brightness of the HDR and 2000 nits peak brightness outdoor. So I have to give to the peak brightness a win to google pixel because obviously the specifications are clear it has more and as a person who uses their phone outside not that much but enough i would enjoy to have a little bit more of peak brightness the next thing is the camera after all modern people buy phones because of the camera it might be not the main reason but this is why they are upgrading especially if they are content creators so the google pixel 9 xl has wide camera of 50 megapixels ultra wide and telephoto camera that are 48 megapixels each compared to the iphone 15 pro max that has a main camera of 48 megapixel telephoto and ultra wide camera which are 12 megapixels and someone will say since google pixel has more megapixels on their camera this means that the camera will be better on this phone compared to the iphone but i will say that this is not the case all the time if you haven't watched mr who's the boss's video where he compared the samsung galaxy s24 ultra with 200 megapixel camera to the iphone 15 pro max with 48 megapixel camera i'll give you a little summary basically the differences that were shown in this video weren't that big if you want you can watch this video but i'm telling you that just because the number of the megapixels of a camera is higher it doesn't necessarily mean that the camera will be that much better or to say it has nothing to compare it with the iphone so maybe you should do a side-by-side -side comparison if you have an iphone or a google pixel compare these together and you will decide which camera you like better 
Video recording is one of the things that people love to test when they are testing a new phone. After all, it's, despite of taking good pictures, you need to have high quality videos, which are worth posting on social media and maybe even replacing the camera that you usually use. So the Google Pixel has 8K video recording at 30 foot per frame powered by Video Boost, 4K video recording at 24, 30 and 60 foot per frame, 1080p video recording, we have dual exposure wide camera, super res zoom video up to 20 times front camera, it's 4K video recording at 30 and 60 feet per frame. So as you can see, they have uh, we have 8K now in the game. And I really wonder when the iPhone will jump. Will they do this with their iPhone 16? We don't know. But the iPhone has 4K video recording at 24, 25, 30, and 60 feet per frame. 1080p HD videos at 25, 30, and 60. Cinematic mode for recording videos with swallow depth of field up to 4k hdr at 30. action mode we have spatial video recording at 1080p at 30 feet per frame hdr video recording with dolby vision up to 4k at 60 feet per frame prores video recording up to 4k at 60 feet per frame with external recording and the front camera that i use to film my videos is also 4k so no i don't have a high quality camera i just have a high quality camera on my phone that i use every day and I have to say 8K, I have seen some videos 8K, they're not that much because I don't think on YouTube this is still that popular. But to be able to shoot that on a smartphone, look where technology has become, where is it going? Probably there will be 16K after some time, I don't know, maybe. But I would definitely like to see 8K switching to an iPhone as well. These are the basic comparisons that people do when they're getting a new phone they might compare the phone that they have with the new one or just comparing brands you can do like game testing durability testing also i have seen many people doing battery testing i watched a video there were a few iphones lined up which iphone will die last aka which iphone has the longest battery i'm pretty sure someone has done this with google pixel and other brands the prices of the phones are very similar the Google Pixel Pro XL starts at $1,099 and that is because they have kept the 128 gigabytes of storage. You know that the iPhone 15 Pro Max starts at 256 gigabytes of storage. I expect this to transfer to the regular iPhone Pro, maybe with the iPhone 16 Pro this will happen as well. So there are differences, otherwise they will be like a copycat, you know, copying the same design, the same phone and everything but they also made a foldable phone and I can see many companies do it foldable and flips. There were rumors that Apple might do this. I don't see it happening. I feel like they will keep with the regular lineup that they have. There were rumors about the iPhone Ultra, which obviously never happened. It won't happen this year, maybe in the future, but I still don't see it happening. But as you can see, these are just basic things that people compare and look up to when they're buying a new phone. Okay guys, that will be the video, hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below, what is the thing that you look up to the most when you are buying a new phone? Is it the camera? Is it the battery life? Maybe how long can you play games on this device? And is it good for gaming? There's other specifications for every single phone. And if we start comparing all of them, it'll take days because there are so many new phones on the market. So many brands are trying to improve just to prove to the customers i'm the best brand you should buy from me not from the competitor of course for me the biggest competitors always will be apple and samsung this is how i feel it like this is how it is the truth about the tech company for now of course there are many game changers like i would say google pixel definitely surprised with these phones not because there is a big color no i actually didn't expect them to have a foldable phone I read somewhere like a few years ago, Microsoft had one, but let's just say that they didn't make it that successful as they were hoping for. Like the design was there, the idea was there, the customers were just not having it. I have seen a few reviews, but let's just say that they weren't, I won't say they weren't positive, but they were nothing to hype about. This is just regular device that didn't make it up with the competitors. So maybe they should try harder or just scratch this idea and think of something new but that'll be the video hope you enjoy 
please smash that like button if you like this video share it with friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever i post new videos and i'm gonna see you next time bye